Health has emerged as one of the top priorities of the Aquino administration. One of its major programs is eHealth, with the implementation of the Philippine Health Information Exchange. Information technology will play a vital role in the delivery of better health services for our people. Joining us tonight here on News Life is Health Undersecretary Teodoro Herbosa. Good evening, sir, and welcome to News Life. Thank you for having me here. Sir, what is eHealth and what inspired the DOH to implement such program? eHealth or electronic health, uh, also called mHealth or mobile health, is the use of IT information technology devices to implement health delivery, health service delivery to the masses, especially useful in uh, many areas in the world. So they've now implemented it in many countries. We will be no different because of the implementation of universal health care. I think the, the great thing that will change, will be the game changer, will be able, when we will be able to efficiently make health service delivery done through uh, IT, information technology, electronic health, mobile phones, etc. Mm -hmm. Sir, can you explain how the system will work? Will it be like a, an application in your mobile phone or tablet or will it be a, a database? It will be all. We will have a database that will be the Philippine Health Information Exchange, which was described by uh, Mr. Ferdi Abando in that particular documentary. So the idea is to put all this information on healthcare. Each and every Filipino's health uh, uh, database will be available from hospitals to uh, barangay health stations to rural health units and hospitals. It also uses technology like what he mentioned, the RX box. RX Box is a Filipino invention developed by the scientists of DOST, which is a uh, diagnostic tool that can take blood pressure, vital signs, and then be able to send that over the internet so that the, the, the image, the signs or the, the readings can be read by a doctor elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Then we will use, the use, uh, use mobile phone technology for referrals or navigation into the health system. Many of the problems in our health uh, health delivery is the transfer or referral from rural health unit to district hospital to regional hospital. So we plan to uh, make this even more smooth and faster. Mm -hmm. And of course, because now the majority of the Filipinos in PhilHealth, they, they will have access to all of this using what PhilHealth will pay for the services. So it makes the delivery of services more efficient and it will help uh, the common person, the common Filipino, have access to the very complex health system in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Sir, how will our people connect or link up with their doctors and health delivery facilities? Do they have to ha just have a cell phone and everything will be there already? There, there are many applications. Mm -hmm. One is uh, mobile health, and that's the use of cell phone. Mm -hmm. And I just got back from a big conference in uh, Bangladesh that showed all the uh, M Health applications that they were doing for maternal and child health. And some of those things are also being applied here. We have similar projects here, like secured health information networks uh, that uses mobile uh, technology, SMS and smartphones. Mm -hmm. We also use now tablets for the midwives and the barangay health stations in Marikina. And there are many more examples of that being implemented. In Mindanao, we have uh, our group there in the DOH is teaching uh, rural health physicians to use ultrasound so that the complications can be detected earlier. So, and then we have the national telehealth uh, with the University of the Philippines that's implementing connection of the uh, rural health unit with academic institutions, with specialists in different fields of medicine so they can have teleconsulting. Tomorrow, we'll be getting a donation from uh, HP uh, and they, they are giving a mobile rural health unit. It's complete, complete with uh, uh, computers and the Wi-Fi connections that will allow uh, consultations to be done together with this telehealth methodology. Mm -hmm. So clearly, the lack of doctors will be answered. The remoteness of rural health units where access to care is very difficult, suddenly they will have access to specialists. Mm -hmm. uh, the DOST is uh, helping us with the implement and the DOTC is helping us with using uh, white space. The, the white space is the television terrestrial transmission mm -hmm. Yes. which can be used for internet in places where the telcos do not want to set up mm -hmm. cell sites because the people are so few. So we're looking at all of this. Mm -hmm. All this, our framework, the national strategy for electronic mm -hmm. health is an open health information mm -hmm. exchange. That means it's vendor neutral. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the private sector can develop the apps, can develop the applications, 
and they will be able to actually uh, give better value all our clients, to mm -hmm. all the patients, to all the people that will... Sir, that use sounds ITC. very promising, but what challenges do you foresee, like, for example, the efficiency of our Wi-Fi system, of the signals of our telecommunication networks? Will this be a problem along the way? Th those are what I call challenges, but I think uh, you, you consider those when you apply a particular technology. So you apply appropriate technology. Of course, you do not use uh, technology that will require very big bandwidth and will, will slow down because the Wi-Fi connection may, might be slow. We will use technology that will move quickly over mm -hmm. all, all sorts of uh, connectivity. Mm -hmm. And what we want is uh, it's open, so that means we will have a layer of what we call interoperability of all the different applications. So we welcome all innovations, all Filipinos with ideas for health apps, for mobile applications for internet applications to actually be developed so it's a call actually to our very intelligent and innovative IT people mm -hmm. in the Philippines to come up with these innovations which may become also useful for countries that are also uh, implementing e-health or m-health mm -hmm. and many are doing this many of the developing countries those that are in the category are trying to do this to answer uh, people in remote places mm -hmm. and it's really changing the way healthcare is being delivered today. Mm -hmm. Sir, how important is this system in ensuring that the PhilHealth coverage for our people is implemented nationwide? Well, that's the other uh, aspect of this particular project. The uh, Included in this project is also PhilHealth. The CIO of PhilHealth will make sure that a PhilHealth member can access uh, his benefits and find out w w what benefit is available to him if, when they go to a hospital, the hospital can query and find out from the PhilHealth database if this particular patient has benefits still, well, how much, what, whatever uh, uh, reimbursements will be given to the hospital mm -hmm. for services provided. And this will answer also the problems of delayed payments. Let's say delayed payments to hospitals, that was an issue about a month ago. We can actually solve that with uh, IT technology, in information technology, and internet connectivity. Mm -hmm. And finally, sir, what are your activities and the timeline for the impl full implementation of this system? Well, we have uh, phased implementation, mm -hmm. trying to set up the Philippine Health Information Exchange sometime in September to launch it by the president himself. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there, there will also be targets set, uh, mentioned also in the documentary. Several hospitals with uh, internet connection. Today, we're asking hospitals now to have uh, radiology information system, laboratory information system, pharmacy information system billing to be done electronically. All this reverts to actual value to the patients. The patients will have better care in the hospital, uh, less waiting time, faster queuing, and the services will become more efficient. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, sir, on that very promising program for our people. That was Health Undersecretary Teodoro Herbosa. Thank you, sir.